How are you feeling? Uh, a little hot. You made the hike though? Sure. <laughs> Only 2,189 to go if you wanted to oh. section hike it. Yeah, about. Did you hear that, that uh, owl back there? Was that an owl or was that dad? That was an owl. Oh, I thought that was dad. I heard dad, but the owl had been making some noise before that. Thank oh, you. you you referred to us. Huh? Yeah, you can keep that. We are at the southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. My name is Joe McConaughey, aka String Bean, going after the self-supported record attempt of the Appalachian Trail, meaning I have no crew or aid. Um, it is currently July 17th. Um, it is 6:40. This is the top of Springer Mountain, and I am starting my trip. It and turned off. Oh, no, it didn't. It's okay. still <laughs> It's on. Well, I All can't right. see it. And this is my mom, and this is my dad. <laughs> and that's the start of the trail. Okay, hand it to me and I'll... No, mom, it's still on. Okay. We're good. Okay. All right. All right. See you too. Okay. Love you. Have fun. Here we go. Mile zero. 2,189 left. 640 stock time. Eastern. I'm ready to go. <laughs> when people ask me how I felt, what I experienced, what I saw on the trail, I have a hard time talking about it because it's hard for people to understand and comprehend what it means to spend 15, 16, 17 hours a day solely to run, solely to hike. What a beautiful morning. Ooh. Hello, Smokies. I'm on my way up to Klingman, and man, this stuff is just so pretty. Not as hard as I thought it would be so far. Maybe speaking too early, and I am still feeling pretty bad. But, God, when you get a chance to just go out and see all this stuff, it's so incredible. Preparing for the AT is tough, you know? It's, there's a lot of challenges you face. One of the biggest one is, is doing it self-supported. When you're doing a self-supported attempt, you're essentially attempting to run the Appalachian Trail as would a normal, typical thru-hiker without any kind of additional aid or support. So everything you use and pick up has been mailed to yourself and you're using trail resupply towns to help you out. Eating enough calories and enough food and enough water was really tough. When I started, I was eating around 8,000 calories a day. And when I finished, I was eating around 12,000 calories a day. So this is what a southern thunderstorm looks like. This is the trail I'm swimming on. And this is what it's like to run downhill. People ask me questions like, how do you run 
50 miles in a day. How do you get through these long, hard, grueling days? But when you break it up into little experiences and little components, that's really not how the experience is. You know, my experience was defined by waking up and deciding, am I going to wake up or am I going to go sleep an extra 10 minutes in bed? I'm going to wake up. Today's the day I'm going to wake up and get after it. And when you put it into those kind of micro decisions, it's almost comical to think that you'd sit around and dilly dally or that, or that you'd lay in bed an extra 10 minutes because really none of that's doing anything that's going to make you successful in the pursuit you're going after. When I'm feeling stressed out, which I am right now because I just fell, and a little less mobility on my right hip and right knee, and I just feel like I'm falling apart, so whenever I do have anything like this, what I do is I just take off my pack, let my mind go somewhere else, and just sit for a good 30 seconds. Nothing crazy. Oh. If you're going out there for 45 or 50 days and you're running and day in and day out, you're putting up those kind of miles, it's going to hurt. It's going to suck. It's going to be isolating. It's going to be lonely. If I got injured, I had to care for myself. I only had resources of whatever I was carrying on my back. So if I got an infection on my foot, which I did, or an infection in my back, all I had was my own methods to heal myself. Halfway through, 22 days, three hours and 15 minutes, which if I do that twice, I beat Jerk's record, uh, I beat Meltzer's record by it's a day and 16 hours. So here we are, halfway, let's go string bean. If you want to see America, you do a long trail. It is absolutely the coolest way to meet people from a variety of different backgrounds and run through the heart of America. You know, when you go around a trail and you see epic views, you see crazy animals, you see people who want to be out in the wilderness and have this experience and share it with other people. Snake Mountain. Oh, God, that's pretty. Would you look at that? This is New Jersey. Actually, not that bad. Well done, New Jersey. The thing that I can't really convey to people or talk about or even feel like I myself understand is just like a sense of kind of like stillness that made me really happy. But when you're out for 15 hours by yourself running and that's all you're doing, you go into your own kind of meditation and believe it or not, you know, not having a phone in front of you, big shocker allows you to take, take a step back and really think about your place in the world and who you are and you know, where you fit in that world. It is currently day 39, going over Mount Washington, which is over 6,000 feet, starting at 500 feet. So it's a big climb day today. Gonna get my ass kicked. Hopefully, do mid 30s, if possible. That'd be great. And I have about seven-ish days to finish, with around 350 miles left. I think that people who do the Appalachian Trail for reasons that really aren't intensely personal are going to get weeded out in the first few days, if not weeks. It's the kind of thing that really can define 
uh, year or moment in your life. And I felt like it's it's done that and given me the confidence to be able to speak about myself in a, in a different kind of light that I'm, that I'm immensely proud of because it was a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of pain. tough today. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna have big climbs. I'm gonna have rough trail. I'm gonna have low energy. I'm gonna be dehydrated. I'm gonna be not excited. I'm gonna need to cover a ton of ground. I'm gonna feel behind schedule. But I'm gonna love it. <laughs> This is the part where you gotta lose your mind a little bit. Oh, right about 100 miles out. And whew, I need to pump myself up for these next, hopefully, 36 hours or so. This is my final climb. Whew. For Katahdin. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh. So I've been making incredible time, which is awesome. Um, it's a little, it's almost one o'clock. I have so much energy, not so much energy, but I have a lot of energy. My legs feel great. I got some socks, some extra socks. And then I'm also getting a Frito dinner. Give me some more calories to get through the night. It's been about 24 hours, just under. And I'm going to have gone about 72 miles. And this is the sunrise I'm coming on. Just peaceful. It's the best night running I've ever done, and I'm ready for Katahdin. That's up next. I'm immensely proud of having done the Appalachian Trail. It's something that I really wanted to do and set my mind to. And thanks with the help of a lot of people and some luck along the way and some decent planning, you know, it actually came true. <laughs>